Hello everyone, it's back to the 80s for today's video, yes, a classic 80s cylinder vacuum cleaner from who? Hoover. Who better? Well that was a slogan that the Hoover company in the UK used in their TV advertising and their sales brochures, Hoover, who better? And back in the day I'd have said, there's no one better. Unfortunately, <laughs> things have moved on and uh, Hoover as they were are not a very, I wouldn't say they're not a good company, I don't know much about the company. I know they're owned by a Chinese firm now in the UK, the Hoover company, but they certainly don't make products like they used to. Now this Sensotronic was made in France, but when this cleaner was made, we still had Hoover factories in Cambuslang, Scotland and Hoover washing machine and dishwasher and tumble dryer factory in Merthyr Tydfil, Wales. But these are French, French made. Most of the suction cleaners from a certain era, area, area, era, era, <laughs> most of the suction cleaners were French made. There were a few British made ones, uh, the Power Glide, I think, the Freedom 1000, the Porter Power, the later versions were made in the UK, and I think the latest Dustette. That's a bit of a shame. I've, I have got spare wands. These are not, I don't know if they're supposed to, they, hmm, I think they do match. Uh, this one's actually lost its pip, that one. So that's not going to lock into place. And common with these uh, lock ring tools, it will still work actually, but they break at the ends. So that's happened with that. But um, yeah, I'm sure I have got some spare ones. Oh. What's in this? Oh, it's the hose, of course. I was wondering. It's the hose. And looking at the pictures of this, I'm not sure. Oh, that's going to need a good soak. Ah, right. It's not a genuine hose. I thought from the pictures that it wasn't um, because this machine would have had a double stretch hose. I don't think it was ever offered with a flexible hose like this. It was from Systems 20, the second generation. They did away with the double stretch hose, if I'm correct, although I might not be. Hmm. Anyway, I knew that this wasn't original, but not only is it not an original part, it's not genuine either. But there are ways and means. It's very, uh, very dirty. Yes, uh, that's not original, but I did, I kind of knew that. Pop that there, dirty. Very dirty, oh dear. Oh dearie me, oh dearie me. Mmm. Let's see if that's snapped. And finally, oh, that's filthy, filthy. Well, it's rusty. The contour head. Oh dear. I'm not looking forward to turning this one on. If you remember the System 1 Sensortronic, which was in much cleaner, better condition than this, looked very good, but uh, had a little bit of a blowout, didn't it? So, yes. Now, let's go and... Uh, yeah, nothing matches really. So, I'm hoping, but it looks like it has completely broken. Mmm. At the time I'm making this video, somebody is offering a set of two back wheels for Sensortronic. They're in a different colorway, but I might be able to use them. This glamour cap, this green glamour cap might come off. Okay, right, first disappointment. 
Let's see if we're going to be even more disappointed when we have a closer look at the cleaner itself. Okie dokie, here she is, looking pretty dirty, but under that dirt I think will be a fairly good vacuum. Now, good job I checked, because I knew that somebody on eBay was selling a set of wheels in a red colour for Sensortronic, so when I saw this broken, and it, I don't know if it can be repaired, but when I saw it was broken, I went to, to buy those red wheels, but it wasn't to buy it now, it was an auction only, and that auction finishes in four and a half hours at the time of making this. So I've put in a maximum bid, and uh, hopefully I will win the wheels. I think these, hopefully I'll be able to prise this apart, and and use the uh, tire and the glamour cap and just use the bit that's broken from the uh, ones. If I don't get them, well, something will turn up one day. So it is leaning a bit. I'll pop the wheel there. Now, let's have a look. <coughs> I don't know what colour Hoover called this. I remember this from the brochure. It featured a lady sitting at the bottom of her stairs, twiddling with her knob here. I don't know, she wouldn't have got much cleaning done in that uh, position, but uh, it's a lovely brochure, the uh, original Sensortronic brochure. It's just various ladies, not a man in sight, various ladies twiddling with their knobs and showing off their lovely new Sensortronic. There's even a lady who's had a tea party, invited her friend around to show her her new Total System 5, a bit sort of Hyacinth Bouquet. Now, one positive, and I always like to look on the positives. Whoops. Ah, yes, I thought so. There was a rattle. No bag. I think it said no bags. I've got bags. This looks original. It's a sort of... It's not black. It is a brown colour. But it has got the full accoutrement of tools. That's in pretty good shape. Dirty, obviously, but it won't be when I finish with it. That's your all-purpose nozzle. Your crevice tool. Quite worn. They've obviously used that a lot. This could have ended up being used in the car. As often used to happen, dusting brush is in fairly good shape, just dirty. Often would happen, wouldn't it, back in the day, a new vacuum is purchased for the house, but the old one still works, as they probably would have back then. Often now, vacuum cleaners are just dumped and uh, so it was allocated to the car. That looks original. That's the bag slide. That is the colour it would have been. Many bag slides I've had for the uh, Hoover cylinder cleaners have been this sort of bluey, tealy, tealy blue colour. So that's good. We're obviously missing a bag. But that's easy rectified. This filter, I expect, well, it's there, but... Uh, I think, oh, that's, oh, that's rigid. I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to give that a go in some biological washing powder and soak it. It's the sort of material that can be washed um, at a fairly hot temperature. It won't get spotless, but it'll, it'll do. I think I, I might, in my <laughs> stores, have some originals or some pattern parts. Yep, so obviously the motor is located behind there. We'll pop that back for now. Mm, just looking to see if it looks like it's been opened up. But it, uh, it doesn't look like it. Because if a, a vacuum's been opened up and fiddled with, you think, ah, oh, there's been something wrong with it. That's not really fitting very well is it uh it's in at the top but not at the bottom it'll have to do for now though in order for me to uh put the tool caddy back on it's you can't unless there's a bag fitted there's this little lever there you go so when the bag's in place this bit here will be in the low position so at the moment it's going to stop the tool caddy being fitted and the tool caddy 
has a seal all, all the way around here at the back and obviously without the tool caddy you can put the cover on but there's no seal there's a great big hole at the front so there'll be very little suction power there is a date wheel let's see if i can see it it'll be 83 i expect hang on it's very hard to see on this yeah it looks like 83 and it looks like it's may may 83 well that's when this part was made not when the whole cleaner was assembled but uh, It will be from it won't be from 82 as I say because the 82 versions would have had the honey beige tool caddy honey beige tools hose the first generation of these all right I've managed to do it just have to be quick put it down all right let's have a look see if we can date this old girl so it's a Hoover model S3128, 50 hertz, 1000 watts, 240 volts, or 1170 watts with the optional power head, and it would have been the electrokinetic power head. You'd be able to get a spare with an extra long mains lead that you clipped to the hose and the wands. That's the only way you'd get the power head working with this. Obviously, the model up from this, System 3, had a built in electric hose and uh, the power head connected to a ha the handle and you just clipped a shorter cable to um, the ones the serial number is 31010308 made in france trademarks of hoover limited these are relatively easy to get into i've done it in the past but there's a lot of screws you have to first undo the screws connecting the wheels you can see where it's broken here look it's the actual axle part that snapped. So you can remove the whole lower casing by the, the screw underneath each wheel and then all these screws. Then the lower casing comes off. Then these sort of bumpers, they come off in one piece. Um, obviously the control panel comes off two screws. So it's all fairly easy to strip down I'm not I'm, I'm delaying actually plugging this in I'm not uh, well I've not got high hopes right I'm just going to before I show you the control panel I'm just going to give it a wipe over because I'm going to be zooming in on it and it looks rather dirty okay here's the control panel of the Hoover Sensortronic System 2 now this differs from the System 1 I showed on my channel a while ago few differences it has a more powerful 1000 watt motor as opposed to the 900 watt motor of system one and all system one had was the performance indicator the red light that indicated when there was a blockage or the bag was full but with system two we get deluxe features including an economy setting and variable electronic speed control wow so this is an 80s vac but we've only got two lights it wasn't until the second generation sensortronic when hoover went completely mad and put loads of little lights on the machines fantastic very 80s but this is early 80s don't forget so this is your dial or i don't know if it's not a dial really is it they call that it's a wheel of some sort it's a control wheel I don't know if you can quite see it's a bit hard because this this needs cleaning and polishing it's a bit scratched and it's gone dull but on its lowest setting you might just be able to detect a very small red line and as you turn up the power that goes to completely red so that's maximum which is what most people would have used it on however when you initially switched the machine on which you'd switch on here with your foot or your hand always the default setting was economy on these and the machine would run at a lower wattage i think it's about 600 650 watts that sort of thing the economy light would be green hopefully i'll be able to show you this if it works so the default is economy so when you switch it on economy's on if you want to override the economy you just press and the button's already in hopefully you press this button here which overrides the economy the green light goes out and then you have control of the speed with the 
little dial here but it's it seems to be set on that setting but if we want economy ah oh, mm, I think there's going to be something wrong here with this because they do not move these are old-fashioned push buttons and they should have a positive effect so uh, I'm not looking forward to switching this on but that time is nearly here oh yes I nearly forgot I got this of course on eBay and I put in an automatic bid but for some reason my automatic bid didn't work and it ended up having no bids it was put on the starting bid was 50 pounds which I thought was reasonable but I didn't win it but nobody else did nobody else bid on this cleaner so then as soon as the auction had finished and I realized it didn't work I put in an offer and I just offered the seller 50 pounds thinking he'd be happy that it sold oh that that is filthy so the seller came back to me a little while later and said oh it's been very popular he's had a lot of offers on this and he put in a counter offer of 55 so I paid it because I was going to go up to more than 55 pounds if you know if it it was uh, going to be in a bidding war so I paid it and uh, when I checked he only had one competing offer to mine and I expect it was probably less than 50 pounds so I'm not fast but um, because of that I think I'll get the seller to knock me a fiver off at least for that wheel don't worry. it's in there now but I've only you know look it's just like that okay right I'm gonna move it a little bit further away from me before attempting to turn this on I haven't got high hopes for this actually working I've just given the cable a wipe with one of those antibacterial multi-surface wipes feels a bit better could do with another proper clean though but I've got the worst off it looks like it's uh, an authentic period plug um, I've just taken the screw out oh right it's a good job it's a good job I'm going to wire that up I don't know why I don't do this more often I, I think I must have a death wish when trying these if you can see can we focus on that folks I don't know if you can quite see the blue neutral wire can you see all that bare wire there that's not right at least they've got the cord clamp correct it's actually clamping the outer insulation and the live wire looks quite neatly done because you can't see any bare wires so I'm just going to pause and rewire the neutral but I have to rewire the whole plug pull it through a little bit more because that's not very good at all okay I've uh, refitted the plug so none of the bare wires is actually showing so that should be a lot safer so this is how you fit a plug well not how you fit a plug it's what it should look like you should make sure that the cord clamp is actually clamped to the outer insulation and you've got no straggly bits of wire showing make sure they're under the terminal I always twist the bare wires and then fold them over and then twist them again before fitting I used to fit a lot of plugs back in the day okay here goes fortunately I live in a new house so it's got a circuit breaker protecting the ring main if anything should go wrong and often it does and it's been filmed so it's getting plugged into the wall obviously I don't know if it's on at the machine end Whew, I'm gonna flick the switch Right, um, oh no, that's faulty. <laughs> oh dear, that was very quiet. Now, had that been on the low setting, I might have thought that's okay, but it wasn't. It's on the high setting, and this, you know, these buttons don't work. I'm just going to move this dial and see what's going to happen, if anything. In fact, I'll focus on the lights to see if this green light comes on when I next turn it on.
Well, to give it its due, the motor doesn't sound bad, although we can hear that it's running very slow. Obviously, the fault is in this part. No chance of getting any of the electronic parts for this. I'm gonna, I'll have a look at it. But I knew there was something wrong with these switches. Now, it could be a mechanical problem. When I take this control panel off, something might have broken or something might have jammed meaning it's always stuck on economy although it does sound very quiet for economy oh something moved then no, i don't think it is um the noise level of this suggested to me that it's on low power constantly so yeah i'm still pleased to have a sensortronic like this they are fairly hard to come by now so now my collection i do have a system one as you saw system two and a System 55, which is based on the Total System 5. I think it was a Comet exclusive, but that I unboxed on my channel a long time ago, and it's it hasn't been looked at since I unboxed it X number of years ago. Now, one day, maybe, when I retire, I will have time to do all these projects. Right, let's see if the automatic cord rewind works, at least. sluggish yes but they always were they always were I've had these from new I didn't have a system 2 from brand new it is quite slow but I mean you know it goes in doesn't it well there's not much more I can do with this apart from get onto that eBay and give the seller a rollicking and say look looks very it looks very good i have given it a bit of a wipe just so my hands didn't get filthy when i'm showing you this but um yeah it's another project it's another project i'm gonna have a lot to do when i retire <laughs> hopefully i will have uh hang on fixed these before i don't think even that's going in look oh it is yeah the hose is a little the catch for the hose, I think it could have lost its its springiness, but it's probably just dirt. You see, oh, it's covered my carpet. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do when I get a brand new carpet for this living room. I'm just going to have to get an old rug and do all these dirty unboxings on that because I'm not bothered about this carpet. This carpet was fitted when we moved in, you know, with the house builders got this carpet, very cheap. I'm going to get something a lot nicer. There's a contour nozzle anyway. And the plastic ones. Of course the top top one. Oh dear. Doesn't have the pip, so that's not gonna lock. So when I when I use that, that's probably gonna fall off. Is that something else wrong with it? I'll have a look at the uh, listing again, but um yeah didn't say much in the listing just said it was rare you know much sought after well if it was that sought after it would have made more than 50 pounds when you first put it on mister but anyway i'm still pleased with another 80s vacuum hoover sensortronic system 2 one day one day we might get this working I might be lucky enough to find a System 2 or Total System 4 that's quite battered, but it's got the electronics that work okay. Yes, Total System 4 was basically the same body style as System 2, but it came with the electrokinetic power head with the power hose, and it was in a, a cream colour with a brown trim. Lovely, lovely machines for their time. Quite heavy, but pretty solid. It's surprising the motor works, so that's one saving grace. We'll have to see what I can do. If you see this again, you might see it again. Uh, if only uh, that chappy, Big Clive from BigClive.com, if only he lived on the mainland and not the Isle of Man, he might consider fixing it for me if I sent him it. No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have a go myself first, you know. Oh, squeaky, squeaky. So there you go, that's the Hoover Centertronic System 2. Obviously, you can't win them all. 
it could have been far worse but obviously folks this has got some issues hasn't it never mind if you have any comments or questions about this 80s vacuum cleaner please comment below and i'll see you all next time for another enthralling video possibly featuring a vacuum cleaner of some sort bye for now